spank. Spanking me right in the butt cheeks. <laughs> Do it again. Boom! <laughs> right there. Hi, Brad. So there it is. Hey, man, what's up? What do you got for us today? Mm, little, another little car, Steve another, Carr goodness. Yes, another invention of the of the madman himself. Yeah. So what is, this what is, is this? This is the Telstar from Carr, and it's got some cool stuff about it. You know, I, it's all under the hood. This this amp this this you, sometimes with tube amps it's either a six L six amp or it's an EL eighty four amp. You, it's one or the other, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Except when you get to this amp, this is both. This is both, right? How do they do that? He'll, How does he what? do that? I don't know, but he did it. He said he tried it and it just worked. It just worked. But I'm sure he had to do some mastery. If it was it. easy, everybody'd be doing oh, it. Yeah, but the thing is. What this does is it's class A push pull. So that's what makes it even kind of crazier because it's not like you're using one for one tone setting and one for the it's other. You're using kinda, them both. Yeah, right. They're both. feeding off each other. Yes. <laughs> both at the same time. I'm not going to ask about that. I don't want to know. So simple layout. Steve tends to like keep everything simple. Um, you've got your, um, I'll go through the, the coolness of it, but you've got a volume, a tone, a reverb. And your power setting. So the cool thing about this power setting is that you go from zero to 17 watts. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not going to get crazy loud, but it's loud enough. Why would you ever want to use zero watts? When I'm playing, nobody <laughs> wants to hear. <laughs> but but no, like so it goes from zero to 17. And the cool thing about that is that whenever you you play at one watt or whatever. Mm -hmm. Generally on most amps, and, and I'll probably say this eight times throughout the video, but I just think it's so cool. You're at one watt, and it's, you know, you can't get it to clean Sounds, up. Yeah. It just doesn't have the headroom. Right. Then you crank it up, and it's got headroom. Or, yeah. you know, most amps don't have a variable wattage. You know, it's either 5, 15, 25, or 25, 50, whatever. But this, as you bring it up, it doesn't really change the tone. So yeah. if you're playing... And you've got it clean up loud, you know, up in this setting where I'm at like six, 16 or 17 watts and the volume's low so I can get a clean tone. And I bring it down, it's not going to get any dirtier. Mm -hmm. The headroom doesn't go away. So yeah. that's a beautiful thing about this. You can, if you, get, you can get an inspiring tone with it closed, yeah. with it quiet, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I like about it. The other things are tube reverb. And this thing's, we're, I want you to do this now, even though we're probably going to do it later okay. in the sound section. All right, section. what do you want to do? But p just play something. I'm going to crank the reverb. This is it's at a, like, most times you can't get an amp over like 8.30 o'clock. Like 8.30 o'clock? 8.30 o'clock. <laughs> but here, here it is at, at 3 o'clock, and it sounds close. So anyway, we don't need to get into that. We're going to do a bunch of sound samples later, but we'll get it back down to where we kind of generally have it. So the other thing is this 53 and 58 uh, switch, this mini toggle on here goes from, it's kind of a, a tone setting, would you say? I would say so, yeah. It's kind of reminiscent of those two eras of amplifiers, correct? Yeah, so what I get from it is and it's it's kind of subtle but it's it's there yeah if you if you're at straight up and you, you know you're at on the 53 once you get above straight up it's really starting to add some mid-range and some highs so upper mids and mm -hmm. highs and it kind of gives it that drive and that push mm -hmm. or if you if you're back at 12 o'clock and you're on the 58 and you add you you boost that the tone knob it's really going to get glassy mm -hmm. and bright on the gotcha. top end you know what i'm saying yeah cool. you know what i'm saying Pick up and put them and everything let's, like uh, that. Let's put it through its paces a little bit, shall we? Let's talk about one more thing. Oh, wait. Just so right. we got one more fancy button back here. More, one more fancy mini oh, toggle. Oh, yeah. And it's the lush and lean. So if you kind of just heard that, you would kind of know what it means. But really what it's doing to me, the lush is really bold and it's mm -hmm. got a lot of low end. Mm -hmm. And you'll hear it, I believe. And the lean doesn't. And the lean <laughs> doesn't. And why would you ever want lean meat? You want the fattiest well, you, meat you can get. You know, when they ask me at the barbecue joint when I order my brisket, 
dry, or, dry or wet, sir. Like, <laughs> always always wet. the answer to that question is always wet. No, it's always what is it? Lean <laughs> moist. or moist? Moist. <laughs> he prefers it moist. Always. <laughs> so lush. If you're if you're playing along and you got maybe some high gain settings or something, and it's getting a little flappy on the bottom end, you can throw it up in lean, and it. Tightens it right up. Flappy on the bottom, man. Flappy on the bottom, baby. <laughs> Fat bottom girls. All, All right, right. So let's run it through, man. Let's do it. All right. Let's do some humbuckers. So you get the general idea of the amp. I'm going to change a few things as we go through each one because he's playing a little bit of a longer passage. And I'm going to change like the 53, 58 setting, the lush to lean. That's really all I'm going to do because we'll, do, we'll demonstrate what the tone knob does here a little more as we go on through this. So go ahead, Rob. Neck pickup. I'm Neck pickup. If you notice, like the what we said in the, in the intro was that the lush it kind of gives it the full body. Mm -hmm. The lean kind of brings. To, they always say tightens up the low end. I think it just kind of takes a little bit of it out, kind of gets it under control. It's fat or skinny? Yes, good idea. And then the 53 to 58, you can really tell when you put it on that 58 setting, it really brings out the brilliance and the highs in the amp. So it, it is cool. So w let's get into some uh, some dirtier stuff. thing about this is you know a lot of multi-watt amps whenever you go down to a, a lower setting it generally takes the headroom out and it breaks up earlier yeah this one I don't really feel like it does that so much like I'm gonna crank it way down to like a watt or two oh. so whenever I crank it up it's it's usually generally it gets cleaner yeah. because you're expanding the headroom but yeah. here listen <laughs> so the uh let's do some solo type stuff okay. i'm going to put this on like i don't know 12 watts ish it's it's got that's where that's just where i'm going to put it no reason just that's where we're going to Nice. 
Put it, drop it at a single coil real quick. Do this. I want to hear this humbucker and single coil together. Listen to the reverb with it drenched. Nice. Even though I got it drenched, it's like, it's beautiful. Like it's very tasty. Trying to be out of Miola or something? No, but. wouldn't even try. <laughs> So do that again, I'm gonna put it on the lean setting. All right. Again, I mean, Steve is... Steve Carr does Steve it again. Steve Carr does it again. Yeah. Cool, so, I am. Really, yeah. it's got that... Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm loving these low wattage amps lately because you can, you, can, you can fire them up, you know what I mean? You, yeah. can, you can really drive the tubes and get the, the desired tone out of the amp without... Yeah. I mean, they're loud, but they're, I mean, you're, my ears aren't bleeding. Right, yeah. And we still play just a little bit on this real, quiet, this real uh, low wattage. <laughs> So you can get, you can still get, you can still get an inspiring tone yeah. at one or two watts. That's what I like about it. You're not cleaning up, adding gain, mm -hmm. all that nonsense, and yeah. lowering headroom. It's it's genius. I think it's it's a it's another killer amp from Car. There oh. it is. Tube reverb. That's not hurting it. Trust me, folks. It's not hurting it. So anyway, so that is tube reverb, correct? Yes. Yes. And affirmative. Affirmative. So just so you know, these are 5815 LT pickups in this 594 from PRS. So it's kind of a vintage -y tone. Can get hot. 
but it's kind of a vintagey tone pickup. Kind of fits this amp kind yeah, of nice. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a perfect pairing, as Ed would say. Oh my gosh, good job. <laughs> Brad, what do you think? Is this something, is this an amp you'd use? Well, yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you? Why would not you? I, I think I, I dig it, man. It's got those, uh, those retro vibes, you know. Yeah, and it's, it's got that like mid range, that, that, that low, like. It's got a little punch to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it, I think that's a combination of like the thin wall, you know, these thinner, the thinner panels, mm -hmm. and it's all made in at the factory, the the, the cabinet and everything, you know. So, um, and the speaker that's in it, it's just a great combination. Obviously, he goes through, he takes his time yeah. and figures out what yeah. he wants. Yeah, I dig it. But I think I think the people out there, the peoples, the, the peoples, peoples will dig it. The people shall talk. <laughs> but seriously, the 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 thing that the the thing that I can't fo uh, stress enough is the variable wattage and how it doesn't change the mm -hmm. tone very yeah. much where a lot of other amps do. And I mean, even really, really good amps, mm -hmm. you know, the, mul the multi-watt thing, they have a hard time, you know, and, and a lot of times the multi-watt is there for that reason, to add headroom because, yeah. you know, I don't know what the right word is, but like just because you go from five to 20 watts doesn't give you a big, doesn't necessarily mean a big volume boost. Right, right. It's a tone change, yeah. you know, they're engaging different tubes, different combinations of tubes. But this thing is those two tubes all the time, mm -hmm. and because of that, and the and the, the whatever he's doing with his magic hands is <laughs> like is making this thing sound great from top to bottom, quiet to loud. So um, the car Telstar. And where can the peoples get them? The peoples can get them <laughs> at one place and one place only, moreguitars.com. But uh, so Rob, you good? I'm good. I like it, man. I always love your playing, brother. I, the biscuits. Sometimes I love mine, too. Got the soul, man. <laughs> so we consider ourselves, and a lot of people agree with us, that we are the friendliest jokers in the game. <laughs> so we are here to help. If you have any questions on this amp, any guitars, any pedals that are in our shop, we would urge you to sign up at moreguitars.com for our newsletter and our email list because you're gonna see all the new product that hits the door before anybody else, and you're gonna have a chance to get great deals. We're always doing giveaways and stuff like that, so sign up there. Hit the subscribe button here, and uh, hit that little notification bell, whatever that is. I, I, I don't know much about that. But They're uh, always adding bells and whistles to these things. I sometimes don't. it doesn't need it. Just let it go, man. But if there's a button or a bell, click it or click it. Click it. You can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but. Anyway, share it with a friend because sharing is caring. Yes, it is. And uh, know that we do a full inspection on everything that goes on a truck that leaves our building. And uh, we make sure it works before it leaves. And uh, we make sure every guitar is perfectly set up. Full inspection on everything. So yep. uh, make sure you check us out at moreguitars.com. we got an amazing selection. We're here for you, me and Rob. That's it, man. What else do you need? <laughs>